Hello everyone, Marga here. Today I'm going to work with the Penny Black Stamp 40857 Winter Jam. And uh, I'm going to start. I put the camera on so that you can watch it later. I have here on my stamping platform for the first time I'm using this Hanemulle 300 grams aquarel paper hot pressed so I wanted to try this I had it for a long time but not tried it before so that's on my stamping platform and it sticks on a sticky grid I never use magnets anymore I always use sticky grid and I position my stamp I want it a little bit over here where I want it so and also for the first time I'm going to use not the Tombow markers but I've chosen for the Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers I want to try this ones so I'm going to use the RB6000 mid brown I call all the names and the olive green and the deep green deep green is number 044 the olive green is number 043 and the mid brown is 065 so these colors I'm going to use and I'm going to start with the mid brown and I hope it works like the Tombos, I love my Tombos very much, so but I wanted to try something else. So, as it goes wrong, then uh, I think no one is getting this to look at this video, but. The uh, Zig colors are uh, more wet than the Tombow markers. So maybe I don't have to spritz any water. Maybe, I don't know for sure, but you see it's really wet. But here is a little bit dry again, so I spritz a little bit from. Uh, so that's enough, I think. looks great uh, but I want it a little bit darker and I go look if I have a darker color in the brown maybe this one this is oh just gray this is not brown my run deep brown I go look at my palette that I have here this is more brown so what I'm going to do is uh, going to do first not the whole branch of the how do you say this in English I don't know how to name this not prepared uh, I must know that name Most of the time I look it up at Google if I don't have the name, but I don't know the name. But this time I didn't do that. So 
and things I don't know the name from is uh, I call always thingies <laughs> these thingies see and now the other side I think I want this side a little darker so I do this a few times the rest is dark enough now and the brushes uh, works well I think so now I can use more different colors because the zigs uh, are having different colors than the tombos or you can bind, combine them, that's also a possibility of course Shall I do, I must have another darker one or shall I do a little bit of the dark grey maybe I do a little bit of the dark grey and uh, I'll let you this was the number oh 068 deep brown and now I'm going to use the 090 gray a little bit because I want it a little bit darker here I hope I'm sitting in the camera yes you can see it so yes now it's a little bit darker. Another, another time. The last time. And I think it is enough. A little bit of spritzing the water. Yes. Now I clean my stamp because I don't have need it anymore you see how many inters sitting on that you can also but i don't do that in the video use that, that same stamp a few times more then you get a little bit lighter but you get also a nice uh, nice effect on your paper so You see, I use my stick grid very often. It's not clean anymore, but that's not necessary. So, and now I'm going to take my water brush and go over the parts here and let some places a little wider. And I start here, this side the, is the light side, so I do that first, because I want that a little bit lighter than the other side. And then I'm going up to the darker part. I missed my kitchen towel. I always have a piece of kitchen towel in my hand. And I go look if the camera is rolling, yes. No. Maybe a little bit more. Um, how do I say that? Uh, looking like aqu aquarelle. So not so. But I don't want to do all the lines because I want you to see what it is. Now I'm going to do this also here. 
at the branches. And I don't care if I do it not correctly because my brush is a little bit wider than the how do you say that uh, these things. I hope you understand, but I think I do. It's it's my Dutchy English, and I'm learning every day. I only want to activate all the ink that is on this So you see, I'm very quick, but I don't mind if it's not in between the lines. Lay a little bit out of the lines, it's not a problem. And if you don't like that, then you must not do what I'm doing, then you let it so uh, as you stamped it. But I like this look very much. So, and now, now I um, find it a little boring. I can uh, put a sentiment on it, but I think that's not enough. So I'm going to take my boxes off. I have here the Daniel Smith, and I have the a box with. Winsor Newton paint and I think I will take from both of them some tin. Mm. I like the olive green from this one so I'm going to start with the olive green and I do some in my porcelain uh, thingy. I see a lot of thingies. So. I don't need much. That's why I'm making it a little bit lighter with some water. And now I'm going to wash in a little bit of the green here. I'm in the middle of the camera. Wash it out with a uh, clean brush as much as I can with a clean brush. So you see no hard lines. I don't like the hard lines. Also here. And then I want 
some green. Yeah. Also wash it out. Also this side. See now it, it's getting more um, aquarelle, and that's what I like. So, and then here also a little bit green. I'm totally inspired by Mimi Alakata. Uh, she is making such great cards with the Penny Black. And a long time we couldn't get uh, Penny Black stamps here in the Netherlands. There was no shop that sold uh, the Penny Blacks. So I'm very, very glad they sold them now. And I hope they are going to do that for a longer period. And if you see here, I see a hard line, then I go over it again, because I don't want that. I don't want hard lines. Now I'm going to take a little brown, but I want not which brown shall I use? Um, I think a little bit of the paint grey with a little bit of brown. So I do a little bit of paint grey from the Winsor and Newton set. You see you cut very fast a little bit too much but this is the bond under I think yes and then I'm going to mix those colors so a little bit more and this is what I want, a little bit of grey brown. Not so. so. And you can mix any color you want. If you like uh, another color, please do. a little bit more grey I like a little bit more grey in it take a little bit more of the green because now my green is not showing anymore and that I want Yeah, 
must do it the other way. Mm. So, and so I mix still I have the color I want. You see also the green is not um, how do you say that? Not not green enough for the grey I made. So I take also uh, here uh, more new green. And I mix that in the grey again. And then I wash them all out. With a clean brush. Yes, I know now how they call this one the pineapple. So you see, I am still thinking about that when <laughs> under that I'm coloring. I cannot let it go. If I wanted to know, then it's always in my head. But I got it, the pineapple. Size the pineapple. Then and so here also on the gray brown. Not too much. So I'm going to. Darker here and at the top. Then I want it to fade out. That's why I have my kitchen towel in my hand. And then I want some more of the green here. Because here is also not green enough for, me, for what I want. to take a little bit darker green but I didn't do that so no. my bracelets making a noise again I hope you understand because I'm uh, 
talking and I'm talking uh, to the paper. So I hope I'm loud enough. I really like this. I really, really, really like this. No. I think I'm going to cut out this part because this is not what I wanted. I wanted outside the paper the uh, branch, not in the paper. Here also a little bit more of the green blending in the gray area. Most of the time I use uh, distress ink for this kind of work, but I thought maybe I could use my other, my Winsor and Newton and my Daniel Smith. I use them only for big paintings, but this looks all so nice. Clean my brush, and I'm going to try to correct the hard lines a little bit. So. I don't know what's on it here. No. Go look in the camera. I always look in the camera if it's uh, nice. Yes, I think so. So now I'm thinking I'm. Oh, I see stripes here. That's not what I want. So now I'm going to. Put my paint away because I need, don't need that anymore. This I need later, and I dry it a little bit with my heat tool. So sorry for the noise. I think it's dry enough, and then I'm going to take, do I take this first or do I stamp first? I think I'm going to stamp first. I have also two new dice. It's the joy wand of Christmas, I think that is a nice one. Yeah, they are all nice. Merry Christmas to the person who makes my winter days a little warmer. In the air, there's a feeling like Christ of Christmas. That's also a nice one. And then I need my curl block. I forgot that. But I have not a, a large room, so I, uh, oh, I'm uh, not far away if I must put, take something. I take it a little bit for, towards me because I want it have it straight. How do I do that? 
a little bit more. No. I think I'm outside the camera now, but I hope it's straight. Yes, I think this. This I clean later. And now I have my Dr. PH Martin Pen White. Got those something in my so. And first I'm going what I'm going to do is make some snow here at the branch. I think I need a smaller brush for this. Want some here also. And it's too much I Take it away with my fingers. So. I think it's enough. Now this one I clean immediately. So, and then at last, I'm going to spread it, but then I put all my stuff away <laughs> because when I spread it, everything is with splatters. And I have a splatter box, but that is not. Uh, Working when I'm uh, filming. Where's my spreader brush? I like it when uh, there's a lot of splatters. You see, everything is around me is with splatters, so I'm going to clean that. And start here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with spells, but my computer is in front of me and it's all uh, with splatters. But I think then it's okay. It's my computer and it's my uh, craft room, so there's no one else who has a problem with that. I think, I hope. Now, this I'm going to dry. The smaller ones are dry fast, but the bigger ones are need more time. And I like it when the splatters are not all uh, even. 
So I like the small ones, but I also like the big ones. Only they dry not fast. <laughs> and especially not in the video. Come on. Because I want to trim this part down a little bit. Now I'm going to hope that I'm not going in with my fingers. So I want to trim it a little bit down. Because I don't like the end of this. This is not an end. Trim this now. Yes, see, now it's the end. Shall I trim a little bit of this one? Oh. This wasn't straight. Do you know what? I have another uh, trimmer that's called a bellow, I think. With I walked with a dog and I forgot to put my shoes off and all my craft room is on set. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> so I must clean it after I do this video. Now it's straight. Yes. Then I do. Oh, that doesn't fit. A little bit of here. How big should it be? I think this is it. No, my trimmer needs uh, a new knife, I think. Mm, come on. So, and then here a little bit. Not too much. Yes. Now I'm ready. I think yeah, I, I uh, make a cut of it, but uh, that's not nice to look at in a video. So I want to show you how I did uh, make this uh, part of the cut, and then I'm making a cut outside of the video. I hope you liked it, and uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.